Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today it's a little bit belated, but I'm doing basically my full 2020 favorites. At the end of 2019, I combined my December 2019 and my full 20 2019 favorites videos together. So that's kind of what this is, because I didn't put up a favorites video for December of 2020, because I was getting ready to move. <laughs> So I went through all of my favorites videos for the entire year of 2020 and then I went through my collection myself and picked out things that I used consistently throughout the whole year and that I just loved and that they were tried and true favorites, which is why I do my favorites videos really spaced out. I do them at least like two months at a time because I don't want these products to just be products I pick for like the purpose of throwing a favorites video up every month. I want them to be actual favorites. All right, so I got a lot of products to talk about, so let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so first product, let's go with a concealer slash foundation I've loved, Dermacol. This one is finally half empty. I started using it in 2020 as an under eye concealer. I used to only use this as a spot concealer, but I tested it out as a full face foundation, which worked a couple of times, but not like every single time. Uh, but as an under eye concealer, it's been spot on and I'm using it to this day as an under eye concealer. Um, I have this one, which is the very first Dermacol I ever bought. It's actually a couple of years old at this point. And my, I actually have a backup of this Dermacol. So I kind of wanted to use this up so I could start using the backup and just have that rotate through my collection as usual. But this Dermacol has been so good. It's a shade 210, so it's a tiny bit too dark. Rex just left the room. It's a tiny bit too dark for me, but it doesn't show up too badly under my eyes. I'm wearing it as my under eye concealer today, and I've been wearing it as my under eye concealer for a long time now, and I just love it. Another concealer that I fell in love with in 2020 was from Shop Miss A, and this is the AOA Studio Liquid Concealer. I picked up two shades. I have the shades Fair Ivory and Porcelain. Fair Ivory, I actually like using as a little bit darker. I like using it as an eye primer, whereas Porcelain, I like for under my eyes. They, this is just such a good, creamy, like full, full, full coverage concealer. It is so full coverage, you can barely see anything, but it doesn't get cakey or dry. It just looks really, really nice. It's a dollar and it lasts like for a good long time. And I love the packaging. I love the squeezy tubes. It's just great. I would really recommend you check these out if you're looking for a good, solid, concealer without breaking the bank. There's actually a couple other Shop Miss A products in here, so let me just go with those next. I do have a Shop Miss A um, affiliate link down in the description box. Do not feel pressured to use that. I just love and get really passionate about really good, affordable products, and so many great products come from Shop Miss A. I'm actually going to, in the next couple of weeks, place a huge like haul order from Shop Miss A, and then a few weeks later, I want to do an updated favorites video. So these are just kind of my current Shop Miss A favorites. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever that new video comes out, because I'm very excited for that. All right, a favorite of mine that's been a favorite of mine for years now is the Black Tear drop sponge from Shop Miss A. This is a $1 sponge and it's the only sponge you'll ever truly need. It gets, this is actually it wet. It's dry, a little dry because I just used it to put on my makeup today. So it's a little stained, excuse me. I've got to wash all my sponges later today, but this is a dollar. It is squishy. It is perfect for makeup application. I use this just for everything. And having this made me like cringe at the thought of like the fact that I used to buy $20 sponges. You do not need to buy $20 sponges when you've got an amazing sponge for a dollar. I like the black teardrop. They have so many different sizes and shapes and colors. They also have the um, micro, not microfiber. <laughs> They've got the fuzzy one, like the Junko whatever sponge. They have some of those. They also have different shapes. I just like the teardrop the best because I like using this to get under my eyes and around my face, but they also have a kind that looks like the um, real technique sponge, you know, that kind of slope side. So they have so many options. They're really affordable. It's It's been a favorite and it will continue to be a favorite. All right, next from Shop Miss A, I love their soaps for cleaning your sponges and your brushes. So the sponge soap is just a clear little cake of soap. And by clear, I mean that it's smooth. Um, so as you can see, let me see, can I zoom in? So as you can see, it is covered in plastic because I haven't opened this one yet, but it is a smooth, just kind of cake of soap that you would use to clean your sponges. Whereas if you see, this is the brush soap, you see all that texture in there? Those are biodegradable little just ridges that are in the soap so you can wash your brushes with these. So you don't actually need to have a separate brush like mat 
or tower to clean it with. You can literally clean your brush inside the soap because there's texture in it. So these have been my go-tos for washing my sponges and my brushes, especially my brushes. This makes it so quick and easy to wash all of my brushes. Whereas like washing my brushes used to be like a 30 minute, 40 minute like process. I can get all of my brushes washed in like less than 20 minutes with this. Again, these are a dollar. I love the scents. I just have the regular Argan Oil brush soap and then the sponge soap comes in a bunch of different scents. I believe this is the strawberry one. No, oh, this is the rose one. Rose is my favorite and then strawberry and then they have like a peach, I think. But I, I love these. I stocked up on these a while ago because I use them so much. And each one of these will actually last you a long time. I just didn't want to get caught out because last time I thought I had backups and I went to get another one and I was totally out. <laughs> so then I was like, no, I need these because I love them so much and they make it so quick and easy to wash brushes. Um, and everything is recyclable. Once you finish with this, you can recycle the container. I, I just love these so much. Okay, let's jump to a kind of random favorite of mine, but it's a product I've literally used all year and I'm actually to the point where I'm just about panning it. I need to buy a new one. Uh, this this is from Maybelline. This is the Color Tattoo 24 Hour Cream Shadow in the shade Risk Maker. So this is just a black cream shadow. I've been using this in my brows as a brow pomade and it has been perfect. I really like black brows, like stark, cool black brows. And it's pretty hard, especially to find affordable brow products that are made for brows that are actually like black and not just dark, dark, dark brown. So I found this and I thought on a whim, oh, let me just try it on my eyebrows. And it worked, it worked really well. It looks perfect. It, I was worried about it like budging throughout the day, but I've worn this for over a year in my brows and it looks great every day. <laughs> it looks great when I'm out and about. It looks great when I'm here home alone all day. But I'm shocked that not only did I like this so much, I used up basically the whole container. You see there's pan like on the sides there. So I'm gonna keep using this until I literally run out of product and then I'm gonna buy another one. It This product by itself for a cream shadow is a little pricey for the drugstore, but with coupons, even without coupons, the fact that I use this as like a daily brow pomade for a year, I think is worth the price. <laughs> Especially when you look at brow pomades from like Sephora level stores, stores, Sephora level brands that don't come in enough shades and don't work as well as this one. So I'm really, really happy with this. Speaking of brows, my favorite brow gel of the whole last year was the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. The only downside I have, or the only complaint I have about this is the size of the spoolie. I wish the spoolie was just a little bit smaller because my brows, I can't use this all the way down or it'll make a mess down here. So I normally just use the tip and just use the tip to go and put product all the way through. But this is one of the best affordable dupes for the ABH Clear Brow Gel. And I liked the ABH Clear Brow Gel because it held everything in place and made my brows a little crunchy. If you do not like crunchy brows, you're not gonna like this. But I like it because I have thick curly hair. So I have thick curly hair and that translates to my brows as well. So for my brow hairs, not only do I have to pluck and shave my face constantly, that's another story, but if I do not keep them in place and like glue them down essentially, my brow hairs will go bloop, bloop, and they'll just go everywhere. So that's why I like a really thick and crunchy brow gel, and this is perfection. <laughs> I feel like a little bit of a broken record at this point, but this is my favorite affordable mascara and favorite mascara of all time, the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara, otherwise known as the Essence Mascara in the Green Tube. This, it's literally perfection in a bottle. It's got an amazing, slightly tapered spoolie. Is it called a spoolie on here? A lash applicator? I guess we'll call it that. Um, I love the packaging. Honestly, it looks very cute, which... You know, for an affordable brand, you sometimes see like packaging gets skimped on with affordable brands, but this packaging looks amazing. I like the size. I love the little handle here. It's got little grippies so you can actually open it up. Um, the formula itself is fantastic and amazing. I just love how much curl and lift and separation this gives my lashes and it lasts all day and it makes me actually look like I'm wearing falsies, which is something I can say I've not seen from any other mascara. And the fact that this is only between $3.99 and $4.99, depending on where you get it, is just the cherry on top. Let's talk about a highlighter that's been my favorite for a while, but I kind of rediscovered in 2020 and really loved. This is, once again, the Becca Royal Glow Highlighter. 
So this is the uh, newer one, basically the backup I had in my collection because the first one that I bought I loved so much and I used it till I hit pan and I was afraid to keep using it because I was like, well, what if I run out? I'm not going to have it anymore. So I bought a backup and I had this backup and since I had the backup, I was like, oh, I, I should finish the first one. So I panned the entirety of my first highlighter and I came back to use this one. And again, I was kind of afraid to use this one because I'm like, oh, well, now I don't have a backup. What am I going to do? But I love the highlighter. And I'm like, Monica, it's stupid to like have something that you love and then not use it. So I started using it a little bit again in 2020 and I realized, remembered how much I love this highlighter. Unfortunately, I believe it was limited edition. This was for the royal wedding back in, was it 2018, I think? But I love this highlighter so much. I think it's one of Becca's best highlighters. And while it was a little pricey, I... I just love everything about it and I thought it was worth it. Okay, last but certainly not least, let's talk about my favorite liquid shadows from the year. I think 2020 was really the year of like the liquid shadow for me and finding ones that I loved. First off, we have all of these from CoverGirl. So these are the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Liquid Shadows. I did a video comparing these to another, I believe it was the e.l.f. I was testing affordable dupes for the Stila Glitter and Glows. And spoiler alert, these were amazing. I've got, I think, most of the shades that they have here. Um, they're numbered, so they don't actually have names. I have shades 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the first six. I think there's a couple other darker shades, but for me personally, I don't like dark liquid shadows. Because for me, a liquid shadow, I like using as a pop on my lid. So I haven't really used anything too dark, but I love these. They're a little pricey for the drugstore, but really affordable when you compare them to like Stila's and to the next favorite that I have down here. Um, I love the packaging. Applicator is great. Uh, again, I think these are the best affordable dupes for the Stila's if you're looking for something along those lines. Now for my totally favorite product for all of 2020. I think this is my favorite new discovery of 2020. And this was the Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid Shadows. I got all five of the shades and I love them. I love them so much. They're so pretty. <laughs> And again, I did a whole video about these and really went in detail. I did swatches, I did eye swatches, I did hand swatches, I did looks. I, I love these. I love these so much, especially using them now with my Pan That Palette for 2021, the Lila Palette from Natasha Denona. But these are just so good. They're expensive. They're a luxury splurge if you will but they're so pretty and I like them and you can get a good look in like five minutes. Oh my god. I love these so much. <laughs> so there we have it. So those are all of my favorites from 2020. Let me know down below what your favorite product from 2020 was, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.